Hello and welcome to the show. I am here on Car Mechanic Simulator having a look at the latest DLC that uh, just came out for it. We have now got a kind of car tuning performance DLC. Uh, it is called. We can do engine swaps, we can increase the power of the vehicle, we've got a dyno, and we have a drag strip. And there's also three new cars. So it's uh, quite a sizable quite a sizable update. A big thank you to the uh, developers who uh, sent me a code for uh, for this one. I'm, yeah, quite impressed with it uh, so far. So as you can see, when I uh, go over it, I've got two of the new cars here. We have got the Ecos Cobra, that's kind of a, a mashup between a Viper and a TVR. I quite like it. We have got, uh, I can't remember what this thing is called. I think it's something Moon. Uh, where has it gone? There we go. Sakura Moon, that is kind of a Mitsubishi. Uh, in fact, it is pretty much a Mitsubishi Eclipse. I believe it's front-wheel drive as well. Are we front-wheel drive in here? Uh, yes, we are. Okay, so yeah, pretty much a Mitsubishi Eclipse. There is also uh, something else that is a, essentially a BMW M3. Uh, so yeah, I've got a couple of these. We're going to be working on the on the Viper today. I just got this car to, to show it off, and it happens to come up in the auction house at the right time. Uh, we'll probably work on this one uh, next. We're going to have a go with the Cobra. As we noticed, we can swap the engines. Now, unfortunately, it's not quite as crazy as I would like. So that's the the V8 that the car comes with standard, or you can make one supercharged. Naturally, I've gone for the supercharged. Now, when you do swap the engines, you it's a very, very expensive, it costs about $60,000. It essentially gives you a brand new engine into the car. So, yeah, it is, uh, it is a fair amount to do the engine swap. On this vehicle here, for example, it comes with an i4. If you do want to swap the engine, you go up to the turbocharged i4. As far as I know, I don't think you can put a V8 into an i4 car. There is also... I'm assuming it was a turbocharged i6 as an option. I haven't actually seen an i6 car yet. I'm guessing though that's what it would what it would be. There may be cars that you can put a V8. If I'm wrong, I apologise. As far as I know, there is. You can't like put the V8 into the Malak. As much as I would, I would absolutely love to put a silly supercharged V8 into a Malak, but it, no, it sadly doesn't uh, doesn't quite let you to do that. But it is quite nice to have the option. I guess it's kind of more of a, an aspiration swap than an engine swap, really, because you're going going from NA to uh, turbocharged. I don't know what happens with the cars that are. I wonder if you can put like the because there are a couple that are turbocharged. I wonder if you can put in a non-turbocharged engine. Um, yeah, that could be some interesting donor car builds kind of ways of doing things with uh, with that sort of stuff. Or, you know, steal turbo bits out of one car to put in another. I, I don't know. Lots of lots of possibilities, though, for experimenting around. I have stripped out this car because uh, I wanted to get into the video to show you the uh, the new stuff to the uh, the vehicles. We shall start off by fixing the car up. Yep, we want 2,000. I'm very glad I had a decent amount of money as well to start off doing this because the engine, as I said, the engine alone was 60,000 for this car. The car was about 45, 50,000, I think I paid for it. And um, so, yeah, you do want a fair amount of money before it's fiddling around with this lot. We've got a new performance shop down here. This lot here will increase the horsepower, pretty much, of your vehicle by, you know, varying, varying amounts. There's some nice shiny parts. There are some performance parts for the Malak as well, which is, uh, which is quite nice. We've got um, engine heads for the V8, exhaust manifolds, exhaust pipes, etc. You can have a nice shiny car with a fair amount of red bits on it. I haven't really played about too much with this. That's kind of what I'm going to be experimenting with when it comes to this uh, this video. We can get some upgraded spark plugs and uh, I guess an upgraded turbo over the normal turbo. I don't think we can get a supercharger though. I think the supercharger that comes with the engine is pretty much uh, as much power as you're going to get. Anyway, this, the the car, the actual like running gear of the vehicle is, in, in many ways, it is very similar to the the Royal GT. It has kind of the most modern suspension and the most powerful V8 that uh, that the game has. You know, all of the parts on these vehicles are, are pretty much interchangeable. Now, we do have a, a power steering pump and an alternator. You know, they came with the engine. However, we are going to have a go with, I think I saw, power steering pump for a V8. Apparently the power steering pump gives us some horsepower. I'm not quite sure <laughs> on that one, but I guess maybe if it's more efficient, it drains less horsepower running it. That makes sense, I think. Yeah, that does sound 
That sounds fairly reasonable to me, actually. Uh, power steering pump. Uh, I guess the same for the alternator as well. Right, we will go for them onto the engine. Look at the shiny! You have such a shiny, <laughs> shiny engine when we are done. It'll be a very shiny and a very red engine. It's kind of a... I say it's kind of a shape. It would be... Oh, no, didn't want that one. No, go away. We don't want that. We don't want the crappy one. We want this one. Um... I guess like, the engine did cost a fair amount to buy, but I'm going to have lots of 100% condition parts that I can now sell. Uh, the point I was going to make before I distracted myself with shiny bits on the car, uh, it would be kind of neat if you could have sort of different colours, so you, a lot of the stuff in here is red. It'd be, it, I would personally find it quite cool if I could get, you know, orange parts uh, for my car or paint it different colours, just to add that little bit more kind of personalisation. I don't think we have a crankshaft, do we? We don't have an upgraded crankshaft. We are going to spend a utter fortune on pistons, though, because there was uh, somewhere, there we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, lots of money on pistons, uh, because we're going to want them on here. Now, I'm hoping, I don't actually know quite how crazy uh, levels of horsepower these engines are going to get. It said, you know, we do the engine swap, you saw it said 900 horsepower. That is a lot of power. It's a hell of a lot of power. If that's what the engine gets from standard, and I'm getting all of these performance gains out of it, or with, you know, the um, the, the likes of the, the pistons, the, the power steering things, etc., that's going to start adding up to a really high amount. A really, really high amount. And I, re I really hope that that is, that is the case. Oh, no, wait, we don't want them, do we? Of course not. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We want to get... Uh, the, the nice, shiny new ones. There we go, I say shiny new ones. The, the, the black pistons. Oh, this is going to be a arse to do. I guess I'll have to... S <laughs> okay, yeah, it might have been a better idea to sell them, but there we go. Uh, on the subject of kind of modifications to the vehicles, uh, this one I don't think has it, but certainly the classic muscle cars, you can now have the, uh, the blower sticking out of the hood, which is really quite cool. Uh, oh, no, oh, we've got one wonky piston in there. Right, we'll come back to you. Ooh, come on, there we go. And, no, we want to get rid of you. Uh, I'm pretty sure, actually, the engine... Yeah, we could get upgraded engine heads, couldn't we? So, these are just engine head V8. There is no left or right side. So, we are going to want our engine head uh, V8. Uh, yep, just making sure. Plus 10% horsepower. So, if this engine did have 900 horsepower to start with, this is just giving it another... Another 90 for each side. So just the engine heads alone would put it up well past a 1,000. I really wonder how this is going <laughs> to drive when it's all done. I believe as well, we will come to it later, when you go to the dyno, I believe you can tune like the ECU, like the engine chip, I think is a thing that you can do as well on here. Now, supercharger intake manifold, I didn't see another one of equally with the supercharger. So we shall stick this one uh, on here i also as far as i know at least we you can't buy cars i certainly didn't see any cars come through the auction lot with engine swapped engines so you can't kind of get lucky and find oh i've suddenly got a supercharged one i don't think maybe uh, maybe they might be incredibly rare but uh, it would be a cool thing to uh, to have that as a as a thing that can happen still those actually have all of these options for, for upgrading a car i think is um yeah, I think it's rather good. Again, it just gives you a little bit more kind of personalization and it kind of gives you a lot more end game stuff to do as well. You know, once once you've got to the point where you can buy cars and you can afford to buy the cars and sell the cars back, you make heaps and heaps of money. And this is a nice thing to have to spend your money on. You can get these awesome machinery. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm really liking this uh, this kind of idea for, uh, for DLC and it's, you know, very, very well executed. Uh, camshaft. We want four of these. Again, another 3% horsepower each. Oh, I keep expecting them to be at the top of the list. They're not. Uh, right, okay. We want to get rid of... Uh, there we go. Get rid of that one. We don't want that in there. Uh, I wonder how much money we're going to make back on this... Uh, on all of these brand new engine parts. Hopefully that'll cover most of the, the cost of the engine. I don't know either. We will find out if... Um, engine swapping the car makes it more valuable. It's probably going to be more of a thing that's worthwhile um, for you if you're planning on keeping the car. Uh, it's very, very expensive, so I'm not sure it's really going to be that profitable in terms of selling the vehicle. Um, but yeah, as far as the, owning the cars, it might be the first car I'm going to have to keep. I don't think I could part with my TBR Viper 
Uh, I don't think we've got any like, timing chains, so on, so no, we can uh, stick these bits on here. Uh, timing cover, yeah, that's not gonna, yeah, not gonna make any any difference really. This, uh, I guess you could make it slightly lighter, but uh, yeah, not gonna make a huge a huge difference. Right, okay, uh, can we uh, head cover? I don't think there was. I'm just trying to remember all of the uh, the different bits and pieces that uh, that we have got here. Right, okay, we can get flywheel and clutch bits and pieces. I don't think we get gearbox. Mind, I guess gearboxes would be different for each of the cars. Nope. Okay, so we will just stick all of this stuff back on. Oh, are we going to... Ah, there's probably another one. Ah, there it is. Hidden around the bottom. Uh, yeah, still playing this on uh, Xbox. I kind of just now got used to um, not having any of the HUD around it. Ah, okay. The radiator. I might have sold the radiator by accident. Because when I did the engine swap, I had uh, you know a whole heap of old uh, parts from the other engine, and I just... I went into the inventory and just sold all engine parts. I guess it counted the radiator as an engine part. Whoopsie! Uh, we're gonna have to buy another one. I got enough money though. Not too desperately worried about it. Okay, and then we can fit a belt on there, and a belt on there, and the tensioner over here. And that is pretty much the engine done. I think I'm just going to kind of make sure now because we've got things like exhaust, oh spark plugs. We haven't done. Uh, wait, hold on. Why are you letting me put the cover on before I've done the spark plugs, game? <laughs> uh, I guess we can kind of just about get through the top. Um, come to think of it, I thought they were lower down than they actually. Okay, yeah, never mind. Ignore me. Being stupid. What car was I thinking of that had the? Um, I don't know. I'm just being stupid. It's fine. Don't worry about me. <laughs> They're a lot more easily accessible uh, there than I was kind of expecting them to be. Are we all done on there? We are not. Oh, of course, there's one up there, isn't there? I remember engines. I can engine, honestly. Um, right, so we're going to go for the new... Where are the new spark plugs? Uh, somewhere in here. There we go. 0.1%. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Might as well get this throttle while I'm here, because I know I'm going to need that. I uh, can't remember the rest of the bits and pieces. Right. Oh. <laughs> I'm so used to just instinctively going and clicking the first one that I have in my inventory. Yeah, it, I would probably recommend clearing out the crap that you have before doing all of this. That can get out of there. Uh, in fact, I might keep all of these engine parts and then I can save money massively when it comes to a, another rebuild because I'm going to have half an engine <laughs> ready to go. Half engine parts ready to go. Uh, that one there. And two more. At least we don't have to worry about all the valve push rods and stuff. Oh, that's always horrible working. It's just lots and lots of clicking to do little bits and pieces. Um, all right, get the engine cover. I remembered the bolt at the top this time. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional, honestly-ish. Um, there we go. See, I know what I'm doing. Ignition coil. Were they a thing? Like, my memory is too bad to remember which ones are things that we can... We can buy ignition coil. Yes, they are a thing that we can get. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them as well. Hoping, oh, I've done, I keep doing the same thing. I'm hoping I have plenty of money for all of this. I should do. I had like 180,000 when I started uh, doing all this. I'm hoping by the time I'm finished, oh, oh, I'm still going to have enough money to get through all of these, all of these cars. Coils cover can go on there and right. Almost done with all of these fiddly little bits and pieces. We have got... Oh, I didn't even mean to click that time. Um, get out of there. We don't want the low power ones. Slightly low power ones. There we go. That can sit in there. Then we can get our nice uh, optional throttle. That looks rather cool. I do like the, uh, <laughs> do like the upgraded throttle. And that is... Largely the engine done. Uh, I'm guessing we didn't get it. Yeah, didn't give us a, a, a new battery with the engine. All right, exhaust manifolds. They are also new bits that we can uh, get for the V8. I believe we can have again more very very shiny exhaust manifold uh, V8. That's the one. Two of them. Oh, that better be the right one. Yes, indeed it is. We're gonna <laughs> proper. Proper shot. This will not look as nice after we've taken it out for a for a drag race. Well, theoretically speaking, on the game it'll be fine. You know, parts don't. <laughs> parts only get. Uh, oh, 
uh, rusty, they don't kind of get dirty, etc. Uh, right, nice oil sit in there. Uh, I think we have an oil pan. So, uh, actually, yeah, we must do have an oil pan somewhere for that to go there. And then we've just got the running gear to put on. I don't think there is anything in the way of running gear upgrades. It is only engine stuff. So you can't get kind of race suspension or race tyres, etc. It's just stuff to work on the engine. We'll get a fuel filter and a fuel pump. I can't remember which exhaust bits are needed for this car. So I would go and buy all of the stuff now, but I'm not quite sure what needs what. Uh, are we... Oh, bugger, did I sell the ABS bits by accident? I might have done. Because these, these we don't get new stuff. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Well, I was expecting them not to get sold with the other parts, but uh, oh, well, uh, we'll have to go back to the normal part shop. God dear. Uh, ABS pump and module and the servo there and a battery while we're here. <sighs> Bugger. They're a pain. Um, yeah, I always hate breaking. Oh, like, when I go to repair them from the uh, from the shop there, they're all in the yeah, but they're always a pain. You never want to break these because they're horrendously expensive bits to uh, to replace. All right, battery over there. Oh, crap, we need a radiator, don't we? A radiator and probably a fan. Uh, oh, there we go. I will get the enter button eventually. Radiator, yes. And I think that's the fan that goes with it. So that's good. Oh, that can go in there as well. Oh, I probably, yeah. Okay, so the, the new engine, I didn't realise it didn't come with all of these little bits and pieces. We'll come back to that. To, to finish the car off because we're going to have to lift the car up and let's do the exhaust that will have all of the nice the, the nice new shiny bits and pieces oil go on oh go on there oil pan and of course we've got the we've got gearbox parts to uh, improve uh, eventually we'll get around to them and one more at the front that is that done right so we can get a oh, Performance shop. We can get a flywheel. I'm assuming the flywheel fits all of the cars. We shall get a flywheel and we can get a clutch plate and a pressure plate. I don't think we can get to. Well, we can't get a bearing, otherwise, it would have come up by now. So we shall stick that on. I think. Yeah, I think the engine swap came with a full. A full clutch and gearbox bit as well, which is nice. I don't have to quite worry about, hopefully, yeah, we don't have to get a bearing. Fantastic. And we can have a nice, shiny, new uh, new gearbox on here. Right, exhausts. And then just to the running gear, pretty much. So, right, we need two front exhaust pipes, two uh, catalytic converters, I guess. Um, to I'm I'm not quite sure how like when I went to sell the bits from the from from my inventory they were just engine bits I'm not quite sure why the exhaust has got I would have thought the exhaust would have been counted as separate because there is an exhaust tab but okay um I obviously made a bit of a bit of an error oh, wait hold on running okay no it's just, there is a category for it there isn't actually any running gear I was looking for an oil filter do we have a performance oil filter uh, nope, does not look like we do, so we will have to buy one of them separately. We'll come back to that though, because we wanted uh, V8, just go exhaust. Catalytic converter, we can get two of them, because we will need them. Front exhaust pipe V8. Uh, oh crap, did we need A and B? Front exhaust pipe. Uh, no, they're both, they're both just front exhaust pipes, so two of them. Mm, then we want... Uh, probably okay we're gonna want two of them and then probably two of them hopefully I have remembered all of that I oh, forgot to say <laughs> now my brain is just not used to going I'm so used to kind of playing this game almost on autopilot that it is not used to going across to them right some nice shiny new catalytic converters unfortunately you can't kind of uh, choose to not put on catalytic converters and uh, silencers etc you kind of still have to have them on the vehicle so no crazy uh, no crazy noisy cars i am afraid all of that is now in uh did all my i think something must have messed up when i went to sell um bits and pieces i think 
may not have sold them by category. I think it might have just got rid of everything. That might explain why I'm having issues with some <laughs> some lost parts in all of this. Okay, I believe that... Let's get... Actually, no, wait, we can put that one back on, can't we? Because that is uh, just uh, the same. I believe that is about as much of the kind of new performance bits as I can put on this car. We have got, yeah, just about everything. We've done, let's go back to all, just make sure. Ah, we can we can do a performance air filter. We will need to go and buy the rest of the bits for the car. Uh, right, air filter base, yes, and cover, and then we need, oh god, we need to get the clips. The all important clips have gone missing. I don't know which clips the thing has, so let's just buy kind of four of each. Uh, let's just buy that and we'll see if that one does the trick. Um... Because, yeah, I, I got 38,000. I'm not too worried about money yet. But it is always a good idea not to waste it. Uh, air filter base. Get the performance air filter in there. That can go on there. Is it a clip A? Yes, it is. Excellent. Uh, part shop is somewhere over here. All right. Three more of them. Okay. Then we just have to go and buy all of the running gear parts again because I'm an idiot and sold a lot of them. Right, that can get in there and that can all oh, go on there. So that's the engine stuff pretty much. Yeah, that's all the engine stuff done. All of the performance bits I believe that we can get. Again, I'm going to have another double check. Uh, air filter, camshafts are done. Uh, don't have, uh, there isn't an upgraded uh, air intake. We don't have carburetors so we don't have to worry about that. Cylinder heads, or engine heads would done, exhaust was all done, Fly, flywheel and clutch were all done, fuel pump we haven't done because we haven't got a fuel tank yet, but I will buy that for when we do, ignition coil was done, we don't have a distributor so we don't have to worry about it, we uh, don't have wires on the car, so don't have to worry about that, just making sure I wasn't doing something stupid, no, I don't think we, it doesn't have the wires for this one. Piston was done, power steering pump done, getting more gearbox bits, spark plug, throttle, and we are supercharged, not turbocharged. So, that is the engine, uh, fully upgraded. Let's go and have a look at the, uh, the bodywork for the car. We'll go to the tuner shop, go for Cobra. Uh, let's have a look at which ones that... Uh, which ones do we like? Unfortunately, we can't have almighty wings. Slight disappointment. As far as rear bumpers go, um, I quite like this one, I think. So we'll go for that rear bumper. We will go... I'm not sure I'm a fan of that bumper, so I think we'll go for that one there. We'll go for that bonnet. I'm not sure I like the headlights or the tail lights that are from the tuna shop. Now, <laughs> I'll be honest, not sure that I am a, a massive fan of them, but... Oh, we've got like the little canards or whatever they're called on the side of the thing. Uh, fenders we will need to go and buy. Uh, I don't think the car actually came with fenders when I bought it. That's the giant bonnet on the vehicle. And our rear bumper. Look how shiny that... <laughs> that is a very shiny sort of bodywork going on there. Did we come? No, but I don't think we came with a boot. Uh, we will... I think this car was missing a fair bit, I think, of, of the parts when I bought it. It was a three-star condition car, so it wasn't too awful. Uh, let's go just buy the normal. I don't like those headlights and taillights. They're not particularly nice. So, uh, Cobra. We can get a front... Oh, front left door. I, I'm on the wrong button over there. If you hold... I'll try to hold down shift so that uh, we buy the parts without having to go through the kind of menu again. And I was holding caps lock instead because I'm an idiot. Right. That is all of our bits and pieces on here. You kind of see what I mean now by it being kind of Viper slash TVR-esque from the front. I think I quite like it. I think it's quite it's quite an interesting little uh, mix-up and probably my favourite car in the game now. It's, uh, yeah, I think it's a, it's a great little great little vehicle. Expensive, but there we go. Right, that is the engine and kind of the bodywork, the tuning parts of the vehicle done. I'm quickly going to go and uh, buy the rest of the running gear parts because I'm an idiot and lost all of them and faff about with that. And you will rejoin me when we're ready to go and take a look at the dyno. So, after a little bit of fiddling around, the car is complete. We are ready to take this uh, Cobra to the dyno. See how it fares out here. Don't quite know how this is uh, how this is all going to work. Ah, 
It's uh, oh, the value use for this room. Uh, this room here was just like an empty store room kind of place for a while. That's quite neat. Uh, right, let us go and see how the Cobra uh, fares. Let's just do a test run as it is now. Oh, the power is, the power is going very high. The power is going really well. That's a lot of power. <laughs> okay, so yeah, 900 horsepower is the standard the standard engine. I've got a 1,600 horsepower Cobra, this one. ECU tuning, let's see what uh, estimated power... Okay, okay, I don't quite know what... Oh, hold on, uh, plus 3%, plus 2%, uh... Okay, so I guess it's just kind of like a whole uh, try and balance stuff out and... Where did I get the 3%? No, oh, wait, I want the 3% again. No, uh... God. <laughs> Don't quite know. So, I'm not quite sure what we're actually tuning here. I'll be honest. Oh, uh, I don't quite know why that one there's gone so green. It's confusing me slightly. Uh, oh, 4%. Okay, I like 4%. Um, oh, wait. Uh, no, if we go down on that, that's back to 3% now. That's. Oh, God. Um, that's down to 4%. I'm not. I might have to go and learn how, how quite how this works. So if we tuning saved, so if we now go test run, we should be like one. We should be more. <laughs> we should be a fair. I say a fair bit more. Okay, one thousand six hundred and twenty-six horsepower. I'm not quite sure on how the. Um, I, I was gonna say I don't, I'm not quite sure. I was hoping it's gonna show me a graph or something. I don't quite know how the carburetor was gonna work. Not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm supposed to be getting all in the. Is it one of those sort of horrendous mini games where you got to try and uh, find the, the perfect kind of balance? Um, like when you add on to one, it takes off of others, and then you got to try and get them all to the top. That might be the sort of thing that it's trying to get going. Whoa, hold on. That was a five. Um, is that a four percent? Okay, let's go for that one. That, that seems happy. I don't know if that's a four percent gain on what I have or what the car had before I started tuning with it. Let's go see. It's 1,620 whatevers. 31, so it's a little bit more. I, you know, let's just settle with that, okay? 1,631 horsepower. Far more powerful than anything I've ever had in on Forza. Um, not quite as powerful as the city stuff I built on uh, street legal racing, but that's still a lot of power. That is a hell of a lot of horsepower. So we shall go back to the garage with our absolute monster. Before we go drag racing, let's see how it fares around the test track. Well, I am fully expecting this car to try and murder me around here. Let's see how... Uh... Oh. <laughs> we, we, we seem to have some... I think the traction control is having some issues with all of this power. It's... Um... No, whoa, uh oh, uh oh, we've gone round. I wonder if I've got an Xbox controller plugged in. Does an Xbox controller work to drive it? No, apparently not. Um, this is perhaps a little too much ooh, power to be really usable on a keyboard. That's um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm not doing anything silly here. With uh, well, as I don't do anything silly, I am just holding forward down, and it's just juddering on its own. Oh God, um, there is some. Some wheel spin going on. I think it's, people said, "All right, if we press C, you can go to an external camera." Um, yeah, it is. It is somewhat struggling for ooh, for traction uh, around here. Uh, you would expect that bit, but it's the I don't know. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's a bit of an ass to drive, and uh, yeah, it's, it's like a like the most intrusive traction control system imaginable uh, is going on. I'd quite like. To turn that off. Is either that or I've completely buggered up something when I did that ECU messing around with it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, either way, okay, that's a little bit odd. It's a little bit odd. It does spin the wheels up like crazy, but quite a strange thing to drive. Well, my monstrously overpowered car did not fare particularly well um, at the test track. We're going to take it drag racing and see if the silly, uh, will actually kind of work there. Well, I am uh, really hoping the traction control will be slightly less intrusive here. Uh, oh, we actually have to worry about gears. Okay, I am ready, I think, for this. 
Uh, I think if we just start and then the timer will... Okay, no, the timer... Okay, oh, I may have gone... I may have expected to have to change up a gear, but that was not the case. Right. We don't have traction control. <laughs> we don't have traction control when we do this, whereas we do seem to have it in the uh, other one. And trying to drive with... Oh god, 1600 horsepower on a keyboard doesn't work! Okay, I've got an idea. How many gears do we have? What about this? Is this a good way of going? No, you're not really too happy about me doing that. There we go. Okay, no, that's not too happy either. Come on! Okay, we've got some speed! We're going to do quarter of a mile in 37 seconds! That's impressive. There we go, now we're going. Now we're rocketing. I say we're rocketing. Hey, that's how we do it! I think I figured out the best way to do it. Oh, well, the AI's lost control. Oh dear, we're back through the headrest. That's not so good. Right, let's have another try. I'm hoping. Oh god, we've got another loading screen. Oh no. Right, we're going to try. I'm thinking. I'm thinking if we try fourth gear, that might be the gear to go for. Okay, go for fourth gear off the line. Okay, maybe not quite off the line. There we go. Third gear off the line. Now quickly up into fourth. Quickly up into fourth. It is kind of... There we go. Oh, it's, it's, it's not happy with me at all. But, um... Yeah, we might finally get some, <laughs> some control in this thing. It's absurd. It's almost 200 miles an hour as it crosses the line. Uh, it's kind of a shame that we have to keep going through a bloody loading screen every time to do the drag race. That is a little bit irritating. And with this much power uh, on a keyboard, the car's undrivable. It's just, you can't put the power down on a keyboard. It just doesn't work. And the traction control that kind of was there in the sort of test run area, where it's very, very grumpy, um... That would have been better, it's still a little bit odd, so uh, the, the driving of these crazy cars is perhaps a little bit lacking. Uh, at the moment, I think perhaps, yeah, a little, a little bit more needs to be done with uh, these crazy vehicles. Right, we shall uh, head back to the garage. Well, there we go. That is a look at the, the new performance DLC for a Car Mechanic Simulator. It is uh, it's pretty nifty for kind of building and personalising your car. And you can get, you know, some crazy horsepower inside a vehicle like this. It's a real shame, though, that uh, the handling, the, the driving of them, you know, down the drag strip or indeed around the, uh, around the test track, whatever you want to call it, can't quite deal with a 1,600 horsepower muscle car. Yeah, you know, a car like this is is meant to be crazy. But, um, yeah, it, it's pretty much useless. I would still recommend this uh, DLC. I think all of the car mechanics simulator stuff is on sale. I know all the DLCs, I think the game might be as well, all on, on sale on Steam. This, when it's on sale, this DLC is about £3.50. I think normally it's 6 or 7 quid. Um Maybe not even that. It, I definitely, definitely would recommend it for the, you know, the tuning ability. And you can, you know, you can have some really impressive car sort of performance figures on paper. Just at the moment, don't expect to be able to use them. Hopefully, there will be uh, updates with this. That uh, they update this game fairly regularly uh, with bits and pieces. So I'm hoping that that will be fixed in the near future, so cars like this can actually be used. It seems a little bit pointless to give us the option to get, you know, 1,600 horsepower out of a vehicle only to have it be completely and utterly unusable. So yeah, hopefully we will uh, we will see that. As it stands at the moment, as I would still I would still recommend it for you know three new cars, a whole bunch of tuning stuff. Um, is is pretty is pretty neat for relatively relatively little price, and I I love car mechanic simulator, so I'm sure I will have plenty of fun with this one. Yeah, just need to work on the um, on the handling of the cars. At the moment, it's kind of a case of I've got a 1600 horsepower vehicle. Just you know, worry about the stats. Don't actually worry about the driving, because uh, yeah, that that doesn't doesn't work. Fingers crossed that that'll get fixed and then I would give it a massive recommendation as it is. I think there's still plenty of stuff to, to have fun with and let's face it, before this there wasn't really any performance stuff in the game. Whoopsie, I've stolen the boot, go back there. Um, so yeah, a little work needs to perhaps be be done with it but certainly a, a good thing, a good thing to see 
and yeah, probably many a crazy car to uh, to come out of it. However, that is it for this uh, this video, guys. Thank you very much. Oh, actually, one thing. While I remember, I was about to sign off. I forgot to check uh, value of the of the car. Uh, if I hadn't spent the money, well, if I hadn't messed up with the uh, parts and sold everything when I meant to sell the engine parts, uh, I could probably have still just about turned a profit having done an engine swap as well as buying the car. It's valued 123000 However, I'm suspecting that probably hasn't gone up much by doing the engine swap. So if you're looking for profitability, buying and selling cars, I wouldn't bother touching them. Uh, just re restore them in the same way that you would before. But if you're keeping them yourself, of course, if you swap... Well, I think it says engine swap, it's more aspiration swap, though. Um, if you're going to do an aspiration swap, uh, to keep the car for yourself, that's, that's the way that I would do it. I wouldn't bother doing it for... For, for buying and selling the cars to make money because yeah you're not going to make anywhere near as much as much profit on the car right that is everything covered honestly uh thank you very much everybody for watching this video i'll probably be back with uh building up and messing around with the other cars in this at some point uh so yeah thank you for watching and until next time uh goodbye